Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For today's video, I recently went to a store that opened up not too far from my house. It is called Archipel. It has all kinds of home decor, it has plants, it also has some furniture, some food as well. So I thought I would take you guys along with me on my first little adventure there. They just recently opened and I was curious to see what it was all about. I heard some things my mom had mentioned to me about it. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and then do a haul afterwards. I didn't end up getting anything there but I did want to share some of my pieces I recently got Lord knows I got a lot I got some clothing I have some accessories I also got some home decor stuff so we're gonna jump right into the shopping first and then do the haul at the end like I normally do
So now for the hall part, I didn't end up getting 
anything there. There was a few pieces that I had my eye on and that I was going to get, but I told myself I've done enough shopping this month that I don't need more things. But I wanted to share some of the pieces that I did end up getting this month, some of my favorites. So first off, we're going to start with the home decor like I normally do and then move our way into the whole clothing, accessories, and beauty. For my first pieces that I got, one of them you saw in my last video, but the other one you didn't see. I got these two amazing pottery vases and they are so big and massive and gorgeous i end up getting them at winners i was looking for some oversized vases i'm revamping my room so i wanted one to go against my mirror so i found the perfect ones and then the other one i put in my beauty room the one that i'm in right now next to my shelf you saw that one if you saw my last video. I just love the whole texture of them. And if ever I get tired of the sort of neutral looks, I can paint them easily. I end up paying the big one $100 and then the smaller one was, I believe, $59. So such a great price for the size. I think that they're about three feet tall. The biggest one is about three and a half feet tall. And then the other one is a little bit smaller. That brings me to my next piece that I also got at Winners in the Home Sense department. I was about to walk out with my two vases and then I saw this huge big pottery bowl. I had to get that one too. I have a place that I'm going to be putting that one as well. So I ended up paying that one, I think it was $39, which is amazing for a bowl that size. I think that you can get so much use out of them. There's so many ways to decorate with them, use them around the house. You can put them on a table, you can put them on a council table. It's so endless the way you can decorate with a bowl. So I had to get this one. I just love the color. It's like an ivory mixed in with a sagey green. And that's what I love because I've been incorporating a little bit of sage green, some black. And I just think it's perfect. And if ever I get fed up, like I said, I can always paint them and revamp them and just change them up as I go along with sometimes, you know, with our home decor, we like to change things up and give things new life. So if ever I get fed up with them, I can just paint them. So moving on to my next piece, I actually got this one, I would say a little while ago, pretty much all of the home decor stuff that I'm showing you, I got at Winner's Home Sense. I end up getting this really cute little stool. It was in the sale department liquidation. I was sort of debating whether or not to get it but I went ahead and got it and I'm so happy I did because I found the perfect place to put it as soon as you come into my house I have a really small entryway I had done a DIY on a shelf that I did and I thought underneath the shelf would look perfect if I put that little stool there it had a little bit of black macrame on it and then the raw wood legs and it was just so cute it was $29 I told myself why not? Let's just get it. It's not something that you can sit on, but I can put my purse on it or I can, whatever it is that I'm holding sometimes, my grocery bag, I can put it on it as of before there was absolutely nothing and it, it finishes off that space and it brings a little bit of a black touch. I just think it's perfect. For my last home decor, this was also in the sale department, but it's nothing special, but I still wanted to share it with you. I ended up getting these Calvin Klein sheets. I ended up paying them $24. The original price was $80. And what drew me to them, first of all, was the price. <laughs> we have a king bed, so finding sheets at this price is nearly impossible. So when I saw them, the price was right up my alley and they were Calvin Klein and I fell in love with, there's like this sort of little sage green print in the sheets. I thought it would add a little texture to the bed. I've mentioned that I'm revamping my bedroom and that is coming really soon. I've been working so hard on it for you guys. It takes time to find the right pieces to make it all come together. So I know I've been talking about it for a little while, but I promise it's coming soon. Anyway, I thought that these would add a little bit of texture, dimension, and $24. You just, you can't go wrong. So I end up getting them. I love them. I think they're super cool. They're quality. I can't wait to wash them and put them on my bed. So that was pretty much it for the whole home decor part. Now we're going to move our way into the clothing accessories. For my first piece, I'm going to start off with the accessories. I normally start off with the clothing, but I'm going to start off with my accessories because... I mean, these are just, this is so cool. I went to Anthropology and I found this amazing hat. I just fell in love with the print. The fabric is corduroy and I just love the whole print, the color. I thought it had a very 80s look to it. It's very uh, Janis Joplin. It also has a brim that you can mold so you can play around. You can either put it straight, 
you could make it a little bit more like a bucket hat. I think when I'm riding my bike or at the beach, I think it's just such a cute hat. And I thought it was different. I've never seen one of these. I love it. So that was my first hat. And of course, I love a good hat. So I was at Winners. I think I mentioned to you that I was looking for a straw bucket hat and then I was looking for a crochet one. And along and behold, there I am shopping at Mar... It wasn't Winners, it was Marshalls. And then I found this crochet bucket hat. It is so cute. It has all the neutral colors. It also has a wire here where you can play around. You can lift it, do a whole little blossom look. I don't know if you remember, uh, that was so my generation where there was a TV show and it was Blossom and she would wear all kinds of hats. And then it had like a big, huge sunflower here. And it was so um, 90s, you know. I ended up paying the hat $19.99. And the other hat, I ended up paying it $39.99, which is a little bit more on the pricey side for this hat. But I thought it was so different, so one of a kind and unique that I'm like, I have to get it. And then I fell on this one. And I think it's the perfect little beach hat. And also when I'm bike riding, it's just so cute. Comment down below. Let me know if you think it's just as cute as what I think. It's very nostalgic and brings me back to my childhood. And I just love it. So I'm so happy I ended up finding this sort of crochet straw hat. Moving on to my next accessory. I end up finding this super cute little bag. It has a little tie here. And it also has a longer strap that comes with it here i took the strap out because i like holding it more like this i think it's so cute the color is what really drew me to it i've never seen a purse this color i think it adds a little pop of color to your outfit everything fits perfectly in there like my cell phone lipstick uh you know your little touch up things it's such a great bag for either the daytime and it can transition to the nighttime and make it more of a fancy little purse and i don't know there was just something that was so cute it drew me to it and i had to get it if ever i don't feel like wearing it like this i can always tie the long strap and throw it over my shoulder wear it as a cross body bag as well um, I end up paying it $39, which is a little bit pricier for a purse, especially when I have a million purses. But there was something so different and it was calling to me and I loved the color and just the cute look of it. I think it's very girly. I wore it last time where I went shopping with my mom. I wore it with a black and white dress and I thought it looked so cute. It added that little extra something to my outfit and it's very girly and feminine. Super happy about this purse. So moving on to my next piece, I end up finding these really cool sunglasses at Urban Outfitters. I was looking for a pair of aviator sunglasses, but more on the square shaped. And I fell on these. I thought that they were so cool. They had the whole 60s vibe, very like rock star kind of look. And I love the color. And when you put them on, they brighten everything up and everything looks a little bit of a tint of an orangey. They're just very different. And I love them. They just give a whole different vibe. I ended up paying them $24.99. I wanted to share these because I thought they were super cool and fun and funky. So moving on to the clothing part, I ended up getting two of the same throw on vests. I'm going to show you first what I'm talking about. It is this super cute oversized vest or blouse. I say vest. It's not a vest. It's blouse, but I wear it as a vest. It has a balloon sleeve here and it has the collar. It's a really linen-y fabric and it's so lightweight and soft. It's the perfect throw-on to put over um, when you're wearing jean shorts or even over your bathing suit. That's why I said vest, but it's not a vest. It's pretty much a blouse, like an oversized blouse. And then I got it also in a pinkish, like a bubblegum pink, like this with the whole balloon sleeve here. I've been really loving pink lately. It's my go-to, it feels very summery. I also love color blocking, so I think that these are great throw-ons. I had found one when I was shopping with my mom and then the other one I found at another Winners. They were $49.99 and I know it's a little bit on the pricey side. I was actually debating, but I think I'm gonna get so much use out of them. I think that they're so practical and it's one of those things that won't go out of style and I'm gonna wear them <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself. I'm going to wear them all year round. Um, I, I, even if it's pink, I think even in the springtime or even in the wintertime, if you want to wear it with some browns or you can wear it with some navies or even red, you know, that can look really beautiful. They're simple, but I do love the color. And I think the colors are what really makes this 
pop and the fact that there's a balloon sleeve you guys know i love my balloon sleeves i can't get enough of balloon sleeves when there's an elastic i feel i can just push them up and they just stay in place so anyway and i think it's very girly and feminine those were my first two pieces staying in the whole winners i end up finding these beautiful silk pink pants they're actually from zara but i got them at winners and they were $14.99 i have a pair of black silk pants and i wear those to death they are so comfortable lightweight perfect for the summertime and when i saw these i thought that they were different the color was different you can dress them up dress them down so perfect i could not be happier of these I think paired with maybe a lace tank top, making it very girly and just so pretty. Maybe for a night out with my husband or something. I just think that these are so beautiful and I could not be happier for $14.99. That's the cool part about winners is that you get all kinds of name brands and really cool things that I would normally not want to spend so much money on. I was looking for a pair of trousers. I was looking for an ivory pair. It's my sister's birthday coming up and I wanted to do a whole cream look. So I found these beautiful trousers from Zara. They were $59, but the fit are so perfect. They're high-waisted. The only thing I'm going to change up, I'm not too crazy about the black button here. I think I'm going to put in ivory button because I feel it's, I don't know, it's an eyesore for me. But aside that, the fit is beautiful and the fact that they're high-waisted are Oh, it's perfect. The fabric's lightweight. It's going to be for my sister's birthday. Her birthday is August 16th, so it's going to be a little bit more at the end of the summertime. So I think those pants are going to be perfect for that. I think trousers and pants are universal pieces. I know that I'll be able to wear them, like I said, all year round, winter, spring, summer. Those are just like going to be my go-to. I think paired with those, the trousers, but paired with those cool sneakers that i got from new bella the ivory ones i think that's gonna look like such a cool outfit maybe a little crop top super cool i'm excited now we're gonna move on to the whole beauty part i found first of all i'm gonna start off with these two that i end up getting at winners i found these perfume bottles one of them is chai eclair it's very sweet and such a beautiful smell and then i got the lait de coco which is a coconut oh these two are just, oh, dreamy perfumes. Smells amazing. They were both $14.99. I'm not a very musky, florally kind of girl. I like more the sweet, the fruities, the coconuts, the tropical, pineapples. I love very sweet perfumes. And these are just perfect. And I actually mix them together too. And it gives that whole sweet but yet beachy vibe for the summertime. So I love them. And I wanted to put them in there because I think that they're great perfumes and not expensive. $14.99. So that brings me to my last piece. I end up trying... I've been waiting for this for forever. It was never in stock. I tried to order it online in Sephora. I went to different stores. They had none, but finally they restocked and it is the Beauty Light Wand and it's Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my gosh, you guys. If I had to suggest one product to invest in when it comes to your makeup, it is this guy. It's sort of like a liquid highlighter mixed in with a blush. And you just put a little bit on the cheeks, on the cheekbones. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I just think it's so beautiful. It gives a little sheen to your makeup. And oh, it's just perfect. It glides on like a dream. I've been waiting so long. So I stocked up. I bought like, I think I bought like four of them just in case. I didn't want to take the chance of it taking forever to get more. So anyway, I end up getting it. I believe that there's maybe six different shades, if I'm not mistaken, but definitely worth investing in. So that is pretty much it. That is my whole huge haul. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on things that I recently got, my favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. And comment down below, let me know which piece is your favorite. You know, I love to hear that. I think next I'm either going to do a DIY for you or it'll be my room reveal that you probably have been waiting for and that i've been just talking about so anyway stay tuned and thank you all so much for watching thank you for all your love your support your comments your beautiful messages i love you guys so much you make my day and melt my heart you really do have an amazing day guys bye